Hola, today we are going to learn to talk about your daily routine in Spanish. We will be introducing reflexive verbs. Reflexive verbs are just verbs that are conjugated in the same way as other verbs, but they require a pronoun in front of them. But what is a reflexive verb? Before that, let's see an example of a simple sentence using a non-reflexive verb. For instance, yo tengo una casa. I have a house. If we break it down, we can see three parts here. One is the subject, yo. If you want the graphical representation of that, here we go. Tengo is the verb. Verb is an action. And then we have una casa, a house, which in grammar it is considered a direct object. Yo tengo una casa, subject, action, object. However, in a reflexive verb, the subject does an action onto himself. For instance, yo me ducho, it would be the equivalent of I have a shower, or if we translate literally, I shower myself. So what we have here is a subject, yo, then we have a reflexive pronoun, me, myself, and then the action, ducho, shower, but I shower the subject, so I shower myself, yo me ducho, as opposed to, for example, I shower the dog. The dog would be different from the subject, but in this case, it would not be reflexive. Yo me ducho, because I shower myself, it is reflexive. How can we spot a reflexive verb? The infinitive ends in se. And we're going to see 12 verbs that are reflexive. For instance, the first one would be despertarse. Despertarse, to wake up. Levantarse, to get up. Levantarse. Ducharse, we know. To have a shower. Ducharse. Lavarse. To wash oneself. Lavarse. Afeitarse. To shave. Afeitarse. Maquillarse. To put makeup on. Maquillarse. Vestirse. To get dressed. Vestirse. Peinarse. To comb the hair. Peinarse. Cepillarse, to brush either your teeth or your hair. Bañarse, to have a bath. Bañarse. Relajarse, to relax. Relajarse. Acostarse, to go to bed. Acostarse, or literally lay down. We're going to see now how to conjugate them. And for that, we will use ducharse as an example. For instance, yo me ducho. Tú te duchas. Él, ella se ducha. Nosotros nos duchamos. Vosotros os ducháis. Ustedes se duchan and ellos se duchan. And the interesting thing here is that we are adding a pronoun, me, te, se, nos, os, and se, before the verb is conjugated. And these pronouns are not optional. We really have to use them. It's not like the yo that you can drop it and say, yes, me ducho. We need to say, me ducho, I shower myself. Tu te duchas, you shower yourself, and so on. The pronouns here are indicating that the subject, yo, tu, el, ella, is doing the action onto themselves. But let's see now more examples. Me levanto a las seis. Me levanto, I get up, a las seis, at six o'clock. Or literally, I get up myself at six o'clock. Me ducho, I have a shower. Me visto, I get dressed. Me cepillo los dientes, I brush my teeth. Me cepillo los dientes. Me maquillo, I put makeup on. Me peino. I comb my hair. Me relajo en la playa. I relax on the beach. 
Me acuesto. I go to bed. Now we will see an example using the daily routine of a famous person. It is one day in the life of the tennis player Rafa Nadal. So, un día en la vida de Rafa Nadal. We're going to use the third person, he. Se levanta a las siete de la mañana. Se ducha con agua fría. Se viste y se peina. Desayuna huevos con jamón y bebe café con leche. Se cepilla los dientes y entrena todo el día. Se relaja con una película y se acuesta a las once de la noche. So, if we translate and go sentence by sentence, we have that se levanta a las siete de la mañana means that he gets up, himself, is understood, at 7 a.m. in the morning. Se ducha con agua fría. He half a shower with cold water. Se ducha. Then se viste y se peina. He gets dressed and he combs his hair. Desayuna huevos con jamón. He has eggs with ham for breakfast. Y bebe café con leche. And he drinks coffee with milk. Se cepilla los dientes. He brushes his teeth. Y entrena todo el día. Trains all day long. Se relaja con una película. He relaxes with a film. Y se acuesta a las once de la noche. And goes to bed at eleven in the night. So the things to remember in this unit are that reflexive verbs and normal verbs have the same conjugation with the difference that we add a reflexive pronoun in front of them. Me, te, se, nos, os and se. And that we use these reflexive verbs a lot when talking about our daily routine.